Hey you guys, um, we are back for day 13. Today's topic is fatherhood. Um, I recorded last night, but for some reason, I don't know what happened, but it messed up. So I'm re-recording it today. Um... I don't know. Last night, yesterday, it was raining all hard, and it just seemed like I got home last night and everything, which is <laughs> just not working out for me. And then I wake up and just getting bad news after bad news. But we just gonna keep pushing forward. I'm just. Pray and ask God to take it. I mean, we're doing the best that I can, what I'm working with, and He knows that, and all I can do is my best. Um, the verse, the Bible verse is, In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Fatherhood. Um, it's sad to say, but when people think about fathers, the definition of it, black men is not in that, in that line of thought process. And we have become like the laughing stock of all the races. And I'm not saying it's all black men, but there's a lot of them out here. Um, I don't know where we went wrong. It seemed like Black men used to be proud to be the leader of the household, provide, get out there working hard to provide for their family. Just to say they had a family, you know? But nowadays, I don't know what happened in between there but men are so selfish nowadays like super selfish like going around making these babies but don't want any type of responsibility don't want to help you with the kid don't want to do nothing around the house don't want to work they just want to lay up and basically act like kids. Play video games all day. I don't care about playing video games. Because I like playing video games. But. It's like handle your responsibility first. And then do the stuff that you enjoy. Because that's what I do. I handle my. What I got to handle first. And then once that's done. Then I enjoy myself. In whatever way. I like to enjoy myself. Say hey Malia. <laughs> but I don't know what's going on. I, I I don't know if it have anything to do with like like a look during like the segregation period and the civil rights period of black men just getting killed for no reason and incarcerated for no reason that there were a lack of fathers in the black community and so these women was right left to raise these men but i'm sorry to me it seemed like 
don't get me wrong some women do um raise good men but sometimes it seems like well majority of the time I don't know if they know what a good man is so they just raise the boys to what they used to I don't know but somewhere in that period of time a lot of boys have lost their way because they didn't have a father in the home and because they had no father they looked to the streets there really wasn't you know a good idea or choice but that's all they had as for as far as someone to look up to um nowadays everybody want to be a thug nobody want to be a man and these kids they they hurting because of it it's like when are you gonna grow up when you go take some responsibility if We, as adults, I made the mistake of not um, taking the time to get to know my child's father well enough. And because of that, right now, I'm paying the price. I am raising my child by myself. Um, I get, I mean, after... Three years, I'm finally getting some child support to help me, but it's like the little bit of money I'm getting is really, it, it don't even pay for the child care, but I mean, that's a lesson learned <laughs> and I no longer put myself in a position like that to um, keep messing myself up like that. But it's a lot of people out here not learning. And they keep getting involved with these people they don't know. And then after the lust of having sex is done... And then you no longer like each other. You hate each other. But you got this kid who's paying the price in the middle of it. You got irresponsible people raising kids. Folks that's mentally not stable or mature enough right, trying to raise kids. You got... People that's mad because the relationship failed and so they're using the kid as a, a way to um, make the other parent pay or whatever. When I was, me and my sister both didn't have our daddies growing up. My daddy was like completely absent and her dad only came around, well, he didn't even come around. He sent money only like holidays and stuff like that. But went and married some other lady and was taking care of her kids. Kids, that's not even his. Just her kids. You taking care of somebody else's kid, but you're not even doing nothing for your own child. I, I don't understand that mindset. It just, and for women that thinks that's okay, I, I feel like that is very disgusting and that's disgusting and 
no, I don't know. No child should have to pay. It's not like 